Oh, I am so excited to meet your sister. Lola, you're not gonna meet my sister. What? Why? Because I don't have a sister. I lied to Porky so I wouldn't have to go to the Peach Festival with him. Okay, first of all, you would never lie. That's not your area. Second of all, who wouldn't want to go to a Peach Festival? Third of all, I totally see what's going on here. You don't want me to meet your sister because you're afraid we'll become best friends and then I won't have any time for you. Bun Bun, I will always have time for you. Always. Except right now, this is my me time. I came in here to eat by myself. You're kind of smothering me. Boundaries. Oh, that must be Viola. Bugs obviously got the looks in the family. Viola? <laughs> That's me. Oh, it's like I have a sister. Where's Bugs? Oh. Uh, he dropped me off out front. Mm, couldn't handle a long goodbye. That is so him. You know, underneath that cool exterior and all that sarcasm, he's just a vulnerable little bunny in need of a good cry. Oh, yeah. He wants to cry, all right. Now boarding flight 787 to Albania. Well, uh, you guys should probably get going. Oh, wait. I, I made you these tra traditional Albanian dumplings for the flight. And I got you this Albanian flag. Well, it's a Mexican flag. They didn't have an Albanian flag. It's probably in the ballpark, though. I can't believe we all just met and now you're going to Albania. I can't believe I'm going to Albania either. This is the final boarding call for flight 787. Look at me, going to Albania. Make sure you look out the window when you take off. Emily will be waving. Of course you will. You mean it was all a lie? Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. Oh, right, you totally told me. Ugh. Ah! Oh, well, that was fun. Good match. Oops, almost slipped there. Mmm, 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 mmm. I was so starving. Playing tennis really works up an appetite. I wouldn't know. Hey, you two. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Patricia. Lola, don't forget I booked us for a pedicure at one o'clock. Oh, we better go. Mmm. Mm. Sorry, tennis. Gotta fuel the machine. Where did he go? <gasps> there he is! What is he buying a purse for? <gasps> Our anniversary! It's this Friday! He's buying me a purse! Oh, Bun Bun, you're so sweet! Can't believe I almost forgot our anniversary. What am I gonna get for Bugs? <clears throat> I mean, what am I gonna get for Bugs? Here. What? It's nothing. I mean, you deserve a gift that's as amazing as you are, and I looked everywhere, believe me, but I just ran out of time, so. A shirt? Wow. Thank you. I love it. You do? Sure. I'd love anything you gave me. Oh, happy anniversary, Bun Bun. So, where's my present? Oh, uh, it's... In the car. I, I left it in the car. Be right back. Go ahead, not a dessert. I parked really far away. Anniversary? Where am I going to get a gift at this hour? Perfect. Now I have a day bag and an evening bag. Almost here, aren't you excited? Uh, not really. It's December and it's 100 degrees out here. What are you saying? It's too hot for Christmas. Too hot for Christmas? How can you say such a thing? I feel woozy. Oh, like I'm gonna faint. That's because you're wearing a parka. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's much better. What were we talking about again? Not doing Christmas this year. Oh! What is wrong with everyone? A little heat, we all just give up on Christmas? Hey, well, not me. I'm gonna do something about it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna... I'm gonna... 
put on a show. A show that captures the true meaning of Christmas. Like a Christmas carol? Oh, I was thinking cats. What's a Christmas carol? A Christmas carol. Charles Dickens. Scrooge. Tiny Tim. Bah Humbug. Here, it's the world's most famous Christmas story. Oh, thanks, Bun Bun. I'm off to save Christmas. I mean, Charles Dickens and I are off to save Christmas. Man, it's hot out here. <sighs> now, just a little heads up before you read the script, I have made a few teeny tiny changes. What are you talking about? I rewrote it. You rewrote a beloved classic? <laughs> Come on. Who can be love a story about a mean old guy named Scrooge who hates Christmas? I'm sorry, but that's not gonna get anybody in the holiday spirit. Bugs, you're gonna play Santa. And Santa's not in a Christmas carol. Well, he's in this version. I know what I must do. It is crystal clear to me. I have to. Line? I have to go with you to the North Pole. I have to go with you to the... Line? To the North Pole. Oh, yeah. I have to go with you to the North... Pole. I didn't say line. <laughs> I know my line. <laughs> Sheesh. Line? Well, if Rick Evans didn't kidnap Santa, then... Oh, line? Then where is he? Wow, do you have the whole entire play memorized? Unfortunately. <laughs> Hello? We're down here! Lola? Bugs! We fell through my trap door and we're stuck! Trap door? Mm. How does it open? Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have focused too much on the trap part and not enough on the door part. It won't budge. What are we going to do? The play starts in one minute. You'll have to tell everyone the play is canceled. But you've worked so hard. Well, there's nothing else we can do. And at that moment, Bugs Bunny found the Christmas spirit. Too bad he didn't also find the better script. Oh, Humbone, it looks like it's just you and me this Christmas. <coughs> oh, Humbone, you're such a funny pig. <laughs> Where is Santa Claus? Well, how should I know? I'm an innocent nightclub owner. Well, if Rick Evans didn't kidnap Santa, then where is he? <laughs> Bugs! You weren't supposed to use the trapdoor. Really? Hey, Bun Bun. Lola, I told you I can't do anything this weekend. I I'm babysitting. I know. I thought I could help. Well, that's very nice, but I, I think I've got it covered. Mr. Bunny, I think there's a monster under my bed. Are you kidding? The monster's on the stairs. Huh? Where? Let me handle this. I put myself through medical school babysitting. Hey, Gossamer, how about I read you a bedtime story? Yeah. Gossamer, you poor thing. Well, looks like you got this covered. So, you know, I should probably head on home. <laughs> I mean, uh, to get a terrarium to put Gossamer in until we can figure out which one of these spells will turn him back. That's what I was saying. Oh, you thought I was going to leave you. <laughs> I think I found the spell I did last night. You think or you know? I know. I, I mean, I, I think I know. Well, that's great. But we need the spell that revoices this spell. It's this one. It's definitely this one. I think. No, I mean I know. I mean I think I know. Just read it. Viserys Magam Tagarha Spickum. What? Uh, nothing. Lola, none of these spells are working. What? Nothing. Maybe we should call the witch. Oh, no. She entrusted me with Gossamer. We gotta fix this on our own. Let's not panic. <gasps> Gossamer! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. 
I may have accidentally turned Gossamer into a frog and have no idea of how to turn him back, but guess who just saved him from getting eaten by a Tasmanian devil? Yeah! Mm, mm, mm. Where's the spell book? Ocurant Dentibus Mortimate Fee! Wait a second. The alarm clock was the frog? We should have been chasing the bear! What are you so mad about? You're back to normal. What? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't get it. What? Then why were you crying? I always cry when I'm confused. What didn't you get? Well, why was he so upset? Because of the dear John letter. John? Uh, okay, I thought his name was Edmund. No, it, it's just called a dear John letter when someone ends a relationship with a note instead of face to face. Oh, okay, so this was a sad movie. Hey, then why was I laughing so much during it? I have no idea. Come on. Oh, I can't go anywhere. Now that I know what's going on, I want to see it again. Hey, Bugs! I saw that movie again! Oh, you were right. It was a Dear John letter. Oh, so sad. I hardly laughed at all this time. Dear John, this isn't working. Bugs. Oh, no. A Dear John letter? Bugs broke up with me! <laughs> Goodbye, apartment. I've decided to go away for a while. Too many memories here. Ew. Oh, no, no, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. Just because I'm leaving doesn't mean you and all your little insect friends can come in here and, and crawl around. Okay, you hear that, roaches? I'm talking to you too, spiders and ants. All of you, you stay out of this apartment. And in case you need a reminder, I'm putting a note on the front door. Dear Bugs, I don't ever want to see you again. Lola broke up with me? Lola, it has been a year. Your vow of silence is fulfilled. You should feel a deep and lasting peace. You may now speak. What do you have to say? I miss bugs! <laughs> bugs! 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 Lola? Wait, what are you doing here? You broke up with me. That note wasn't to you. It was to spiders and ants and roaches. Don't you see? I wrote dear bugs, but you thought I meant dear bugs. Bugs. I need to be with you. I don't care about the dear John letter you left me on the microwave. Dear John letter? You mean the repairman? Wait, why'd you break up with the repairman? Mm. What's the name of this movie again? The Black Widow. Can I offer you okay, is that guy a good guy or a bad guy? Lola, the movie's barely started, and you've already asked a hundred questions. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You get three more questions. That's it. Oh, there's a subject? I thought you were just wasting Who's the Black Widow? She is. Why is she called the Black Hi, Widow? Cousin. You're using up your questions awful fast. Look. She's a jewel thief, and she always leaves behind a calling card with a spider on it. So they call her the Black Widow. Then who is... This is your last question. I have to know. Fine. Who is the Black Widow? You already asked that. It's her. Oh, no, it's not. It's that guy, the detective. What? He's in love with her, so he pretends to be the Black Widow to protect her, and in the end, he goes to jail for her. How do you know all this? Uh, The Black Widow is my favorite movie. I've seen it a hundred times. I've memorized all the dialogue. Ma'am, I'm, I'm afraid, afraid we're gonna have to ask you some questions. questions. What, what are you afraid of? I won't fight. What, what do you know about the break-in break at the museum? museum? What are you, what are you implying, fight? detective? That's seven glorious days without a crazy person in my life. What 
are you talking about? My mom's diamond bracelet. The one I was wearing last night. It's gone. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Have you looked everywhere? Yes, everywhere. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to tell your mom you lost it. I can't. I borrowed it without asking. Oh, boy. Well, then I hate to say it, but uh, I think you're going to have to face the music. <sighs> you're right. You said you were going to face the music. I did. I have been listening to this for like six hours. What, am I facing the wrong way? Why did you steal the Hillhurst Diamond? I thought you were gonna come clean. I did. I took like a two hour shower. I mean, my spray tan's completely gone. Bugs, the Black Widow wouldn't just steal a bracelet. The Black Widow is insatiable. She couldn't resist a famous diamond on display at the local museum. Sure, she knows she'll be caught in the end, but the Black Widow can't resist the thrill. She wants to be stopped, but who can stop the Black Widow? There is no Black Widow! It's a movie! Oh, right. You gotta put it back. How? Now that there's been a break-in, security will be too tight. I'll never be able to do it alone. You need to help me, detective. You need to stop watching that movie. Bun Bun! So, you finally let the cat out of the bag. Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah! Lola confessed everything. She told you she's the Black Widow. What? <laughs> no! She said you took the bracelet to have one made just like it to give to Lola as a surprise so that she and her mother would have matching bracelets and that you took the Hillhurst diamond to throw us off your trail and buy yourself more time, but then you returned it because it was the right thing to do. I would have done the exact same thing. Daffy, you're the only person in the world that wouldn't like this recliner. Ugh! Where did you get this hideous recliner? See? Told you. It's going back. What? It's just one opinion. Uh, one professional opinion? You're not a professional. Uh, no, but I watch Design Divas every week, so I think I know what I'm talking about. It's nice! Bugs, you're good in a lot of areas, but home decor is not one of them. You just don't see things the way we do. That's an understatement. Hey, guys! I brought in your mail. It looks like you opened it, too. Well, I got bored between the mailbox and the front door. It's mostly bills, but I think you're gonna like this one. They want you to host this year's Royal Oaks Glen Oaks Oakwood Oaks Beauty Pageant! Why me? Well, it says here because you are charming and well-licked. That's liked. Okay, well, you don't have to brag. I don't want to host a beauty pageant. Bugs, it's a lot more than just a beauty pageant. It's a competition that awards scholarships to young women. Come on, all you have to do is show up and say, and the winner is. It's the easiest job in the world. Eh. <sighs> Okay. How do you know about all this anyway? I was a contestant two years ago, but then I was disqualified because of my talent. What was your talent? Lion taming. You know how to tame lions? Not very well. Hey, Bun Bun. How's it coming? How's what coming? Your opening monologue for the pageant? Monologue? I thought all I had to do was show up and say, and the winner is. Right. After the monologue. And the big musical number with all that complicated choreography. Oh, and then there's the duet with last year's winner, which also has a lot of complicated choreography. Oh, you gotta be ready to vamp in case the wardrobe changes go long, and they always go long. Oh, well, then, of course, there's the big finale, which has the most complicated choreography of all, and sometimes a stunt. Last year's host got shot out of a cannon. He got shot out of a cannon? Well, not successfully. That's why they needed a new host. It's a thankless job, Bugs. I don't know why you agreed to do it. <clears throat> uh, good-looking audience we got here tonight. I look forward to seeing you all during the swimsuit portion of the competition. Because there's a swimsuit portion. The audience doesn't actually put on swimsuits. Yeah, no, we get it. Oh, what about the joke where... Porky, please. I know you think this is your year, but let me... No, I want to hear it! <clears throat> I flew all the way in from in, in, in New York to be here. And uh, be, the boy are my arms the, 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 the tired. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! I can't breathe! Oh, his arms are tired! Like he didn't fly on a plane, he flew himself with his arms! Like they're wings! He doesn't even have wings, he's not a bird, he's a seal! Seals can't fly! Oh, it's so funny for so many reasons. Oh, Porky. 
working. I'm working. Oh, oh. Yours was funny too. Just not as funny as Porky's. <laughs> oh, Porky. That's the end of the war.